Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Got a very nice warm drying day going on, which is kind of nice. It's been a little rainy past couple of weeks. So it's nice to have some good drying conditions. Beautiful day. And it only takes a day or two of good drying conditions to make the ground not be squishy. And where the driveway was getting a little soft, as you can see, by the end of today, this will all be dry and hard pack again, which is nice. So as the years go by, I like to come back in and go over some of the equipment that I've been using these past several years and show you guys how they've been holding up and would I purchase some of them again. So today we're going to take the inverter tour and it's a good day to do it. Beautiful day. So before I started running these lithium iron phosphate batteries, I just had an old lead acid battery bank in here and I had a 600 watt power bright pure sine wave inverter, which I'd used for about 15 years, I think. And I didn't leave it on 24 seven. One of the reasons, cause I was running lead acid and I like to just shut the power down at night. And then when I switched over to lithium, I wanted to get a new inverter. And the first thing that I bought to tie into that was from Reliable Electric or WZRELB. It's gone by different names, but I got this pure sine wave inverter, 3000 watts. This is 12 volt. And for the past three years, this has been running 24 seven with zero problems. The only time it has not been on and drawing a load is when I've been adding uh, different components and I'd shut it shut it down and you know sometimes when you add something else you turn it off other than that 24 7 for just shy of three years zero issues whatsoever and one of the things I like about this is it's got the hardwire capability which I do have it hardwired into the house and in general I probably never really pull more than about 1500 watts off of this I just don't have anything that uh, I need to, you know, stress it any harder, but I've got the extra capability if need be. But yeah, in general, you know, a thousand, fifteen hundred watts running everything. And it doesn't even do that much because I have a lot of very efficient appliances. But yeah, this thing has been a real, a real workhorse. It's never let me down one time. And then when I built another little system here, I like the 3000 watt so well, but I only needed about a 2000 watt in here. Not really even that, but I decided I got a good price on that. So I would just stick a 2000 watt on this system here and it's worked just as well too. And this one doesn't have three years on it, but it's getting about two years, I think. And I could pull this a cover off and turn it around so it wasn't upside down. It used to bug me looking at it like that, but it um, doesn't bother me as much now. So I just let it roll. But this one's also on 24 seven, you know, tied up to a very simple system. You can see it's in absorption today. We'll easily get up to a full charge. And it is on, since it's been hooked up 24 seven, again, except for if I've had to disconnect to add something that I wanted to put into the configuration here. So another reliable electric, WZR, ELB, uh, whatever, <laughs> never let me down. I don't have this one, although it does have the, the hardwire capability as well, as you can see there, I don't have it hardwired to anything. And so because those two inverters had worked so well when I did uh, get my first 48 volt battery, 
and decided to build a simple little system for that as well. I went ahead and bought another one from the same brand. And this is also on 24-7. Uh, it's never off. And it's always running right now and recently in the past many months, a full-size refrigerator freezer. And I never have to worry about this or even look at it. Again, this one, hardwire capability, but it's not hardwired. I just have the refrigerator freezer plugged in right there. Very simple system, working great. So yeah, I run three of these full-time, 24-7. Never an issue. Now on this system, you know, I have a small 24 volt system right here. And I did run a 600 watt reliable electric pure sine wave inverter in this position here for a while. And that time, and that inverter did fail over time. It wasn't running 24 seven, but one day I went to turn it on. It wouldn't come on. I took it apart and look none of the fuses were blown i never did uh, figure out why it failed but that one particular 600 watt 24 volt of this brand did fail me and when i went to replace i decided i would try the victron of course we know victron is great uh nothing but good things to say about them of course this thing is not running 24 7 but i kind of keep this as a backup ready to go in case my systems in here need to take a rest and charge back up, but not having to do that lately. So uh, this is just in the off position uh, most of the time now. I do turn it on, oh, every other day probably, and I pump some household water uh, through this system, through a reverse osmosis system, but the system's not being taxed right now mostly just as a backup. So yeah, no issues with that inverter either. Uh, and what have I got on that? Maybe a, maybe a year or so. My time frame elapses me on a lot of these uh, components, but needless to say, I've been running these for years and they're doing fine. And then I have started slowly gravitating towards Victron on a lot of my components, as you guys know. And there, we just heard the fan kick on. So we'll take a quick look. So the fan's running on this right now, as you could hear. And that's, you know, whatever you were running about 84 degrees in here, ambient temperature. And then with that refrigerator freezer running a cycle right now, It'll do that and you can hear the fan just kicked off. Just a little warm in here. This is kind of a Southern exposed room, although the sun is basically straight overhead now, not really catching Southern exposure until way late in the day when the sun starts dipping down. But So this room's a little warmer than in that back utility room and that fan will run periodically, but that's not a temperature I worry about. I mean, that's just, pretty much the ambient temperature uh, in this room and outside it's just a few degrees cooler probably right now. And then I do run this 12 volt 375 watt pure sine wave inverter from Victron. Very small system here, super, super easy to hook up. Uh, it's always on and ready to be, you know, a load drawn, I always leave it in kind of the standby position to where as soon as I turn on like the TV in this room, clicks right on. Uh, so it is actually always on, but uh, this battery is full right now and is full every single day. So again, technically it's on and ready for work 24 seven. Of course, no issues with this either. Not Never had a Victron. Uh, inverter fail me at all. And we'll take a wander into the shop. Everything that I just showed you was in the house, of course, the main house. And take a stroll up here and I'll show you the inverter that uh, I do have on 24 seven as well up here.
and this is the newest addition of a Victron line, the 12 volt 800 watt pure sine wave inverter tied into the shop system on 24 seven, just drawing some small loads up here 24 hours a day. You can see the systems in float. I have been slowly gravitating towards the Victron products and I love them. And they, of course, have never failed me, not one time. I love this. This is a nice inverter. They all are. Everything that I've showed you, they all work just as they should. Never had a problem. Yeah, so except for that one 600 watt, 24 volt system from Reliable Electric, uh, that's the only inverter I've ever had that just truly failed. And for what reason, I don't. I don't know. Uh, it had worked just fine, but all in all, I'm, I'd have to say for as many different things as I've tried out here, I'm very happy with the reliability and the workmanship of everything because uh, everything I've showed you, with the exception of that 24 volt uh, Victron, they're on 24 seven and they are never turned off. And everything is just running like a, you know, a well-built machine. So that's really nice, you know. You make these investments. Uh, the Victrons, I don't think that they're that expensive for the quality that you get. And then those reliable electric inverters, you know, they were uh, fairly cheap, actually. And just recently, I've had a lot of you guys tell me how long you've been running uh, that brand of inverters with no problems. So I'm not hearing of any problems with any of the ones that I've shown you. And the only one I can say, like I said, was just that one 24 volt did fail. So all in all, I'm happy with all the inverters that I'm running. And they keep me up with everything I could think of. Food storage, uh, <laughs> entertainment, of course. Um, Everything, everything I need to run the household. Now, the only thing I will say is, uh, which would be a consideration for a lot of you guys, is I don't have to run air conditioning or heat out here in this environment. I don't get a big temperature swing uh, year round. I mean, high to low this time of year, 20 degrees max is the swing. Um, so it stays pretty pretty temperate out here. Now, if I was running uh, an air conditioner or a heater and having to do that, uh, you know, these things would be getting worked a lot harder, but my loads are just not that heavy. So yeah, I just like to come back every now and then and show you guys over time. A lot of you ask me questions as the years roll by, how's this still working and how's that still working? And I will tell you if anything that I'm using fails uh, just as soon as it does, because uh, I want you guys to know, um, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, a dead set on any certain component at any given time. As long as they work, I'm pretty happy. So the ones that I've purchased, I do like to let you guys know how they do over time. Because I know a lot of you guys are watching these types of reviews, and yeah, they're all they're all doing good for me. I mean, even every little fuse and breaker I've had, I haven't had nothing fail me. Have blown a couple of fuses over the past years, but those are my fault. So, uh, and the fuses did what they were supposed to. So I will continue to you know do updates over the years uh, how things hold up and let you guys know so you can make an informed decision. But yeah, I'm working everything 24 seven, lacking for nothing. All right, I'm gonna get back in the shop for the rest of the day. Keep working on that 48 volt uh, inverter that I did a review on the other day for you guys. Uh, and see what I can figure out about that. I'm still liking it, but I've still got a ways to go to be able to really say what's going on for out 
what's going on with that for my purposes out here but yeah so far so good on that too but lots to do and it's about lunchtime <laughs> aloha everybody i hope this video helps you guys make some decisions about your system always appreciate the feedback about your systems gives me ideas of what to continue talking about with you guys all right Catch you on the next one, everybody. So nice that it's drying out. But I am not complaining about the rain. Completely full and completely full. Yeah. That's about 6,000 gallons of water. Even if I didn't see a raindrop for a long time, pretty well covered. <laughs>